Mr. Speaker, I rise because I hear talk about the vision. Yes, deal with that. Vision. <laughs> but it seems to me, Mr. Speaker, that people who administer a government and employs hundreds of persons spending millions of dollars, 60 million or more, on a PEP program that produces only three or four percent of the persons who can find jobs anywhere. What does that happen in the bill? Is, Mr. Speaker, a people without vision. Yes, yes, yes. It seems to me, Mr. Speaker, yes. that persons who will be in this 21st century having police stations with asbestos roofing, <laughs> you know? Yes. In this 21st century are a people without vision. But I don't want to spend too much time on vision. I want to spend time, Mr. Speaker, on how discombobulated they are. Yes. Confused among themselves, yes. it appears. Because on the one hand, Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Member for number two is speaking about this is not going to happen tomorrow. Well, you don't make it could happen tomorrow. And on the other hand, one is talking about how long a period it will take. They are confused. That's the same thing. Very confused, Mr. Speaker. And so, Mr. Speaker, I want us to make about three points in support of this bill. Three. Three points. First of all, Mr. Speaker, we know that our Constitution provides a fundamental right. It is one of the fundamental rights enshrined in our Constitution. As Section 8, it speaks more to how you cannot be deprived of property. This bill buttresses that particular section of the Constitution. Yeah. That's what this bill does. Mm -hmm. So that the people can have their property properly registered and know that it is in their own. In fact, what, what the other member for number one referred to will not happen once this registry is properly operated. Once this is in place, it will not happen. Yeah. That's what you're saying. And that is what this bill will do, buttressing what our Constitution says is a fundamental right. That's what it says, Mr. Speaker. But I want us to look, Mr. Speaker, as to why this is also important. Because, you see, on the one hand, I hear from the opposition benches, asset, land as an asset, land as an asset. I want to make this point. It is because of that view of land as an asset, why they puffed away 1,200 acres of our land. Because they view land as an asset to be disposed of. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. You see, Mr. Speaker, if they view land as a resource, yes. more as a resource from a governmental point of view, they will not think it is just easily for them to just poof away 1,200 acres of land like that. And so, Mr. Speaker, they keep talking about assets. But anyone, that is why this government, Mr. Speaker, is doing all that it can and will to ensure that the land of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis is preserved for the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. Mr. Speaker, this project, they keep speaking about this project and how long it started. We know it started way back in 2006. And I want to just make the point that this project was completed on the 18th of July. 2014, the 18th of July, 2014. Mr. Speaker, it was a project which was supported by the EU. The final report, updated legislation and action plan, was completed. It was, it was done by Dr. Patrick Prudent Philip. Patricia. Patricia Prudent Philip. She, Mr. Speaker, I understood, worked in Sinkis for a while in one of our law firms. It is important, Mr. Speaker, to point out that though finished in 2014, for the several months, with all of the developments, the government of the day made no move to pass it into law. They were preoccupied. You made it into yeah. Preoccupied yeah. with boundary changes. You made it into yes. and a half years. Preoccupied with making sure that they get re-elected. But you know, Mr. Speaker, the people have spoken, and they stay on the side vanquished today because of that conduct in 2014, 2015. Yes. And so, Mr. Speaker, 
I just want to make two more points on this bill. First of all, I'm supporting it. At paragraph, at paragraph 4.0 in this document, it reads, there are various legislative instruments that govern the land sector. And this is what it says, which is important. Because I heard a member on the opposition benches say, describe the bill as, but let me don't use the word and I, 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 I'm arbitrarily. He, he described the bill and criticized it. So it's deficient. Deficient, he calls it. That's correct. Deficient. <laughs> deficient. <laughs> but here, listen to this paragraph. As stated in the inception report, the Ministry of Justice and Legal Affairs, together with the consultant, agreed on the principal legislation that will govern. What is that? So why would you describe it as deficient? When your own government agreed on the legislation. Your own government agreed on the legislation. Yet one described it as deficient. So, Mr. Speaker. Shakespeare. Uh, so, Mr. Speaker, you can sense that when you speak the truth, it hurts. Has fire to the tail. That's what happens. Whenever the truth is spoken, there's always fire to the tail. Yes. Further, Mr. Speaker. On the one hand, one member speaks about having something done tomorrow. It's not going to happen tomorrow. They are aware, or should be aware, that they had a plan, which is a five-year action plan. Yes. They know that. They should know that. Also, you don't know. The honourable member is saying she doesn't know. The honourable member does not know that there's a five-year action plan. Do you want to know about the five-year action plan? Let me tell you about the five-year action plan. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> the five-year action plan. Oh, it is? Well, I, well I, will, I, will, I, will, I will make it less agonizing for you. I will make it less agonizing for you. Listen here. Scientists and neighbors ranking in the world in 2019, and at that point, 2000? sorry, 2000, and scientists and neighbors ranking in the World Bank Index relating to the registration of land is significantly improved by 2019. Was the object of this plan? Was the objective of this plan? And it and it indicates, Mr. Speaker, that at 1.1. An independent land registry, fully operationalized and staff, will happen in the first year, year one. Secondly, it says that land leases, land agreements would be executed in the first six months. They expected that you'll be renting property or leasing property. That is in the document which the member should have had. And, and should have read it. And, and understood. <laughs> it goes on, Mr. Speaker. Understood is a it yeah, says. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Uh, understood is a difference. Yeah. <laughs> a new land registry, Ready as inventory, as well. list of furniture, equipment, and available, uh, available in the land registry in six months in the first year. Yeah. That is in the same document so which stopped. you should have read. <laughs> it goes on. Uh -oh. Employment contracts executed in the first six months. You want something to happen tomorrow? Yeah. Had, the, had the first, you would have been well advanced. Yeah. Exactly. You would have been halfway there. He was able to be, be able to That's the point. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then it says, land registry bill enacted in the first month. In the first month. Oh, you, oh, you want to shout louder than me? You want to shout louder than me? In the first month, land registry bill enacted in the first month. Had this been done in August of 2014, do you know how far we would have been? And so, this is the first month of its enactment. So we are well on course to satisfy the five-year plan to get this up and running properly on that immunity government. And so, Mr. Speaker, it goes on. Copy 
of the commencement order of the act published in the Gazette, first month of the year, which means we are passing it today and it will be gazetted in this month. That the same night. Can't be the same night, we have to have time. I don't understand why the Honourable Member didn't mention about happening tomorrow. Does not quite understand. So, their plan, to cut my discussion short, their plan, Mr. Speaker, was a five year plan. A five year plan for the implementation of this program. A five year plan. Yet, in two and a half years, this government is rolling out the plan and they want it done in one day. <laughs> they want it done in one day. I'm saying, Mr. Speaker, this team unity government has set about on this plan to implement this plan. And this plan will be properly implemented. When done, the people of this federation will be the beneficiaries of the hard work of the team unity government. And so, Mr. Speaker, as I said, I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it short. And so I commend this bill to safe passage in this honorable house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter and watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.